What's going on guys? My name's Victor and today I'm going to be talking about Travis Scott's Gang Gang music video. We on a quest with the tribe. It's way too late, pick a side. Specifically, I want to get into those transitional effects and B-roll that is used throughout the video. It's choppy and it's blurry and it kind of just looks like some photos stitched together, but I just want to get into how you can replicate this same effect for your music videos. So this effect is super simple and there's two easy ways that you can get the same effect. And one way, which is not my recommended way, would be to take photos and you just make sure that your shutter speed is really low and you're kind of taking a shaky photo so that the image is blurry and you're gonna wanna take a couple of those photos, edit them in Lightroom to match your video's color grade and then put them into Premiere and have those photos last a few frames. The second way to do it and the way that I would recommend you do this effect is film in whatever frame rate you want. Just lower your shutter speed pretty much as low as your DSLR will let you go if that is what you're shooting on. So this example video that I'm going to show you, I shot at 24 frames a second. So I lowered my shutter as low as my camera will let me, which is 120 fifths of a second, so that's 25. For this one, I am lowering it so we can get more blurry images, lots of motion blur going on. So basically, once you have that set on your camera, all you need to do really is make sure there is a lot of movement in whatever you're doing. So for these shots, I am just walking forward towards the subject and kind of moving my camera around, keeping the subject in frame and just making it look crazy. Now once you have the shots that you want to use, you're going to jump into the editing software and we're going to use this effect called Posterize Time. Basically what Posterize Time is going to do, it's going to let you choose how many frames you want per second. Meaning once you start going lower than your 24 frames a second, it's going to look more choppy. And so what I did was about what the music video looked like, I did seven frames a second. So if I do seven frames a second, it's going to get rid of 17 of those frames. And then go ahead and play it back and make sure that your image is just as choppy and blurry as you want it to be. And if you're trying to replicate that effect, make sure that you know it looks about the same. It looks distorted, it looks crazy, but this is a good way to add some style to your video, to transition in between pieces. And if you have any film grains or film mats, you can also do that because that is also how you get the film-like look because the old silent films were always a little lower than 24 frames a second, maybe around 16 to 18, and they just looked a little more choppy. It looked like you were watching moving pictures rather than a movie in general. So I hope this video helped you. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, the whole shebang, and I will see you in the next one.